Time to start putting the shoe together. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. If you saw last video, I cut out all the materials and got them all prepared. You could see it up there. But now we're gonna glue them all together and get them ready for sewing, so let me show you that. If you're a new viewer, welcome. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. If you're coming back, thank you, and make sure to comment down what you think about this video, and let's get right to the shoe. I got all my pieces cut out, as you saw in the last video, and for the liner, I'm using just normal black leather. It's nice and soft, as I uh, explained it. So what I'm gonna do is trace out the pattern onto here, cut it out, and pretty much from there, I'm gonna glue all the materials onto it and we'll be done. I'm using this black leather right here. As you can see, suede inside, soft outside. The soft, the soft part's gonna be what touches your sock, so when you slip your shoe in, that's a material that's gonna be touching your foot. This is gonna be glued on, you know, it's a little bit rough, so it could kinda stick as well. The glue that I'll be using is contact glue. So with contact glue, you glue each piece of material and then you let it dry for about 30 minutes. I let it sit for 30 minutes. So then they're each dry and they, when you touch them, they aren't sticky. But once you put them all together, then they stick like crazy and you pretty much can't pull them apart. So that's what you want. So I, uh, I'm gonna glue each piece of material, let it all sit out there. Then once it's all dry, I stick it together and you're pretty much done after that. You sew it all together and you got a shoe. But for now, I'm gonna cut out the black leather then from there, I'll get to gluing, I'll get to putting all the material together. Um, it shouldn't be too hard, it just, this process is just like really time consuming, it's not hard. Cause when, once that's done, then it just gets to sewing, sew it all together. There's some layers that I'm not putting on here because you gotta sew the under piece, then you sew the top piece after that. But in order to get there, we gotta glue all this first. So. I'm gonna start gluing, I'm gonna show you that. I'll be outside, cause it smell, it's really like, it's really bad, so I don't want my room to smell like that. So, we're gonna take it outside, take it in the backyard, start gluing, and then go from there. So I got my black leather. This is my liner for the inside. So, if I get it correctly, you can see, I drew it all up, just in black piece of leather. So, I'm gonna be gluing the top materials, whoop, I'm gonna be gluing the top materials onto the top there, if that makes sense. So, when the sock touches it, this is gonna be on the bottom, your foot slides in on this side, so it gets a flat surface. You have all the top materials go on the rough surface. So, that's what it looks like. So, I'm gonna cut it out, and then we will go to the next step. So there it is, all cut out, all stenciled up. Let's start gluing.
So I'm happy with how the shoe came out. The shoe looks like this. So this is gonna be the outside and this is gonna be the inside. And then on the back tab right here, you know, so I'll put the Python on later. But as right now, this is kind of how my layers are going. As you can see, when you bend it, it still kind of peels up a little bit. I gotta put more glue there. But it's not um, too bad because that's where I'm gonna be stitching, so I'm not too worried about that. But I mean, this is what it looks like. I'm really happy with the colors and everything. Um, this is, I, I need your guys' help. Let me know what color I should do for the Nike swoosh. So I'm thinking like a black swoosh with an orange outline or maybe a white swoosh with an orange outline. I'm not too sure. And then the inside, I'm thinking a black swoosh as well, or sorry, I mean an orange swoosh with a black outline, something like that. I'm not too sure yet. So uh, give me all your ideas because I definitely read all the comments. But from there, uh, I'm just, I'm pretty much gonna be stitching the next step. As you can see here as well, you know, it's uh, a little crooked. They don't line up as perfect as the other one, if you could even tell. But, you know, you, uh, I'm still learning. I'm still cutting out all these materials. Um, this is my own pattern, so I'm trying to get better with it. I uh, cut this out with the old pair that I showed you. This is a shoe that I cut apart to get all the stencils off of. The other shoe is just literally in pieces. This one is pretty much almost there. But, you know, you, uh, I'm learning, getting closer to it. But I'm super happy with how this is turning out. As you can see again, this is shoe one, this is shoe two. I think it's gonna be super cool. Gonna be walking around like this, just so, you know, the outside of the shoes, they're just gonna look all black, but with orange stuff, orange accents. And on the inside, it's gonna have orange and then orange on the back. So I'm super excited. Oh, I actually got this drawing. So this is what I'm thinking about. This is my drawing that I made up. But, you know, something like that. Not sure, not sure yet. But, you know, that's it. I'm super happy with how they came out so far. So I will see you in the next video. Uh, next video I'll be sewing them all together. So make sure to stay tuned. Make sure to check out my Instagram and check out all my uh, t-shirts I've been dropping lately. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't seen the previous videos, go check those out so then you can know more about these shoes and how they're built. And if you're uh, new, please make sure to subscribe, check out all the other videos. Thanks for watching. Comment down again, you know, what uh, colors I should do for probably the Nike signs. But till later, see ya.